what is up everybody welcome to another youtube video we are doing another how to today and today we are doing how to solve a dino cube definitely one of my favorite cubes on my shelf right now i really love messing with this thing i don't really understand why it's just a really fun cube and this is how it turns it turns off of the corners it's very weird cube and it's just it's just odd. And what this cube pretty much is, is how I like to describe it, is I like to describe it as a corner cube, because it turns by the corners. Or a cube mixed with a 2x2. Two two. That's one of my, that's really what I think about this cube, is a cube mixed with a 2x2. Two two. Because it turns like a 2x2, two two, or a cube. And the kind of it kind of turns like the cube, it and two by two because it doesn't have any centers, and it just goes off of the edges. But yeah, let's get to this today. Why I'm going to be using the cube, this thing that I did for how to solve a cube. Because if you guys didn't want, sorry, if you didn't watch that video, go up and watch it because this is this is just cube. That's <laughs> All you need to know how to do is the simplest move ever. Right inversed, left tighten, right tighten, left inversed. That is all you need to know in this cube. And the only thing that really is the only thing big on this is the final layer right up here. That's the only thing that has multiple algorithms, or not algorithms, like patterns you can get out of it. Alright, so let's mix this up. Just do it random mix if you have it. And if you don't have it, I suggest to get it. I'll put that down in the description. I suggest to get it if you do not have it because it's a fun cube. Alright, so here we go. So pretty much what you want to do on this cube is mix up the 2x2 two two while we're at it. So pretty much what you want to do on this cube is you want to solve it like a 2x2. Two two. If you have not watched that video, go watch that video as well. So, how you solve it is there's no center to base off like there is in a cube. Like there is a cube or a 3x3. Three three. There's centers to base off of the corners and edges. There is no edges on this piece. It's just a corner cube, like I've said. And so what you want to do is you just want to solve it like this. So say how that's right there. And you want to just line up the pieces like you did on the Watkins method for the 2x2. Two so here, we have the green right here, so use this as reference. The green's over here, right? So there's the green. So turn this way, there's orange. So the orange is right here. And all I do to get this in, if you put it right there, that goes down here. So all I do is I move this one out of the way going down, and then I put the piece, I loosen that piece towards the orange piece, and then I tighten that orange piece, and then tighten those two pieces. And that's how you get that first side of the thing. And that's all you really do on getting those. And so right here, as you can see, the red piece is right here. So all you do is you just put it up like you would to get a corner in. And then you don't have anything right here to base this off of. So all you do is you just turn that little pe edge piece thingy into that so there you go you got the first colors and then the last one is blue right here and what you want to do is you just want to take this corner you want to grab that and you want to carry that over and what I mean by carry is you don't really care about these two you just want to care about this blue piece so carry that over and then you see it's still not there to get put in yet so you want to carry that blue piece again and as you see we're back in the one Place where we put the orange in, how we put the orange in. So we want to take the blue piece out so it doesn't get messed with. Then you want to loosen the orange piece corner and you want to tighten to put that, enter that blue piece in. And then you want to tighten to put that in. And there you go. You got all of the edges. And this is probably the easiest part coming up. It's just this. That's all they are. It's just 
the edge pieces on the 3x3. Three three. That's all these are. But you don't have to do an extremely long algorithm. Actually, it's an extremely easy thing to do. So I'm here. Let's grab this. So here's the green and the orange, right? The green and the orange is right here. So all you do is you put, you move that corner to make it match in. It's the easiest algorithm ever. ever. And this is the only kind of confusing part. The blue and the red over here, and the blue and the red right here. So what you want to do is you put it in there. It obviously doesn't match. So you want to take it out the other way. And then there you go. You're automatically over there. And there you go. It's right there. Pretty easy. And as you can see, there's an orange and blue piece right here. So when you put that one in, it does not match, right? So you want to take that back out. And what you want to do is you want to move this corner piece. And you'll see that that blue and red came out. You don't really want to worry about that. Because all you need to do is you need to enter this blue and orange piece into that. And then you just put that back in. And there you go. You got three edges. And there's one more edge. I'm going to let you guys do that. Pause now if you would like to do that on your own. If not, keep going. Right here. You want to do the same thing we just did. You want to take this out so that goes over there. And then you want to enter the green and the red in there. And then you enter the red and the blue. And there you go. All of the edges are done. Very good job. Good job, good job, good job. High five. Pat on the back. And this is the only part where it gets really confusing. There's multiple cases where you can get all of them out like this. All of them out like that. And all you do is you just do this move. Right loosen. Left tighten. Right tighten. Left loosen. And as you can see... If you do that in a random spot, you'll most likely get one of these where they match. Like you would on a 3x3. Three three. Like you would on a 3x3 three three if you get one of these matching. I'm, I'm just going to move that out of the way. That's not helping. And there you go. There are three situations, or two situations, I think, you can get out of this. And what one of them is, I think this is the one that just goes straight into it. So you just want to do that move, right? You want this the piece that you already have matched. You want that facing that way so it's out of the way so you don't mess with it. Because if you did it right here, you'd get that out of the way, which you do not want to happen. So you want to do the same move we did for the skew. Every single move you need to know. That move right there. Only move you need to know. Easy. And here we go. Let's do that move. Right loosen. Left tighten. Right tighten, left loosen. And that is the easiest case you can get on that final thing. Is you can get it to where you only have to do that move once, and then it's solved. There is also another one you can get. And this is the other one you can get. You can get to where you do that move. And let's do the move real quick. You go right loosen, left tighten, right tighten, left loosen. And as you can see, that move didn't work, but it did. Because this piece, the red piece, was over there. And you had to do that move twice to transmit it across to this side. So all you do is you want to do that move, right loosen, left loosen, right tighten, left loosen. And there you go. So there's two cases you can get on the dino cube on the final layer. And what it is, is where you only have to do that move once. Or you have to do it twice. And then you can get it to where none of them are done. Or none of them are in there. And you just have to do it three times. And that's really all. That's the only thing you really need to remember on this cube. All it is is just normal stuff. It's just easy common sense if you know how to solve a cube. Two by two and a three by three. That's really all. And... I wanted to do this because there's not a lot of patterns on YouTube, so I just wanted to play through an algorithm or to get a pattern. And again, I'll put this cube down in the description if you'd like to get it. I, I like this cube because it has the yellow inside. I think it looks cool. Alright, let's do this pattern real quick. So what it is, it's left tighten, right loosen, left loosen, right tighten. And then you move the cube, I think it's X, yeah, no, Y, 
Yeah, you move it this way. Y tighten to where it's like that. And then you do that move again. Left tighten, right loosen, left loosen, right tighten. And there you go. You have those switched. And then you just switch to the where the yellow is facing up. And do the same exact algorithm. Left tighten, right loosen, left loosen, right tighten. Tighten X where you go this way. And then do that again. Left tighten, right loosen, left loosen, right tighten. And that is a checkerboard pattern on a skew. I don't really like calling it a checkerboard pattern, but I don't really have any better names for it. But if I figure any out, I'll, I don't know how I'll let you know, but I'll do something to make it to where you guys know patterns. Maybe I'll do a video in the future of doing cool patterns on my cubes on my shelf. Maybe that'd be cool. But thank you for watching. Have a good day. Make sure to subscribe, like, again, check the cube out in the description. Watch my last video. Subscribe again, please. Please, please, I need, I need your guys' help. And yes, thank you for watching the video. Have a very good day. I love you guys. <laughs> Cube.